was, uh, this is a Chrome extension taught me to love the internet again. So uh, this is, uh, well, geez, I can't remember. Smile, Smile Suggest actually is the name of it. So you can find it on the Chrome uh, extension store and everything. And it does turn on your camera. So be wary of that if you like to surf the internet naked or something. Um, but it will actually, you send it to say, okay, this is a smile. So you actually, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, cure it, you know, uh, 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 do the thing. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, so it knows what a smile is, what a 10 smile is, what, what the biggest smile you have is. And as you go, it, it rates how much you're smiling as you visit websites. And it will take that information and suggest websites for you. Hmm. Based on your facial emotion at this point. Um, I thought it was a really interesting idea. Again, you know, if you're not too crazy about your camera turning on just while you're surfing the internet, some of you will smile more than, than other websites you know so um you know uh, speaking of the wank band earlier for instance uh but uh you know uh so so i, I you know that i think it's an interesting technology an inter interesting interesting way to use uh facial technology for just surfing the web you know um again worried about the security but kind of a fun thing to try out maybe for a few days and, and see how you like it so i, I would definitely be interested in this it, it, it like turning it on and turning it off throughout the day especially because one of the first one of the things i probably do right after dinner or after i get home is i have a list of about i would say 15 tech blogs and probably about four photography sites that i hit mm -hmm. um if it could help curate and send me to the articles that I would want to read first in case I don't because because a lot of times by I never get through the entire my entire list um, that's where I could see if it could somehow prioritize them and shuffle them so I could hit the ones that it thinks that I would want to read first and then I could kind of go back through and skip all those right and then pick up anything else that it may not have picked up on and it could learn over time mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely interested in trying this out yeah, and it's, it's a Chrome ex so it's a Chrome extension, so I can use it in Chrome, but I can't use it with any of my other browsers, which that's okay. Um, it's just I tend to read on my tablet, mm -hmm. so I don't. Know if that yeah, works. it's not going to help you. Like I, I use a lot of my reading on Feedly on my on the iPad actually, in yeah. the and um, when I'm picking up stories for the morning shows, for instance, so that wouldn't help me. And that's like that, that is the time when I'm actually into what's going on and just just reading kind of casually right uh mm -hmm. usually is on that tablet kind of situation so i mean it's not going to fit for every, how everybody's using their internet um but i think there's there's a lot of people that could you know kind of get some fun out of this thing so mm -hmm. um what do you think of this katie <laughs> i'm always i i don't know like it's i'm pretty comfortable with my electronics but i always have that fear of when's my phone gonna when's the camera gonna click you on? Always, like i always have this like I, sometimes i sit in a room and realize like even now i can kind of look around and say how many cameras yeah. are pointed at me right now you know and if you believe in the whole nsa thing you know mm -hmm. <laughs> that they can that they could do that you know it's like well they got they just got everything anyways you know what i mean um so well i think this also feeds into your other story that you asked us about this morning kind of a, a similar feel to it it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as much as um the uh periscope comcast thing yeah now, this was a thing where uh this was on the uh mini awesome cast where um comcast is is basically has an app that will live stream to your xfinity x1 home entertainment whatever box or somebody else's box like grandma's or something like that um so anyway how are you connecting that then um i think it's for is, is what we're sending and how we're sending and is is when is it is it always I don't, I don't know like I, I have certain companies I do not feel comfortable with having some certain things and certain permissions Comcast like yeah. I, don't, I don't want Comcast to have a camera in my home <laughs> yeah I don't I, know I, how I feel about Microsoft have a camera pointed at me in my living room you, you wonder you wonder if it if it's in somewhere in there like um, licensing agreement where anything that's recorded and broadcasted through their their service then becomes their property actually there was um, there was a little bit of something I can't remember if it was Siri or Connect, but there's something about the usage of phrases that it picks up from the microphone because I think it does like kind of randomly listen, you know, mm -hmm. or listen before and after you've actually said the thing that triggers it a little bit. Um, or it's always listening to the Hey Siri or the uh, or Xbox, you know, Go Xbox or whatever the heck the thing is, you know. Um, so I think that's a concern. Certainly, we, we have microphones all over the place. We have, you know. 
uh, you know, just you know, regular day to day to day to day people or have have two cameras and a microphone, mm -hmm. um, you know, in their pocket all the time, pointed at who knows what. You know?